pgpt.shop. Hey, what is up, you guys? It's Megan. Welcome back to my channel, PG Squad. I am so excited to be here. You guys might notice that there's no face cam. I am so sorry. If you guys are a regular viewer to the channel, you know that I actually went out of town for like 12, 13 days, and I had to get surgery on my nose for medical breathing issues and everything such as that. So actually, um, my face is still healing. I got some wild black eyes, which you can definitely see over on on my Instagram and Twitter at Megan Plays. But guys, I just wanted to spare you and not have you look at my face. So make sure you guys hit the like button and leave a comment down below. Just engage with this video as much as you can so it can reach more people. I know it's kind of weird not really having my face you guys aren't used to it, but just please, please, please help this video reach the masses because we have some amazing Adopt Me news today. But first and foremost, I wanted to let you guys know that the Overlook Bay release has actually been delayed. Unfortunately, I got the news while I was out of town and I was so sad and I had some videos going up saying that it was going to be today, but I couldn't do anything about those videos because they were pre-recorded, pre-edited, and pre-uploaded. So guys, the brand new release date for Overlook Bay is on September 25th. I know this is really sad news news, but they just didn't feel like it was completely ready or perfect yet. And we want you guys to have a really, really amazing experience. As you guys know, like you might give a game a chance and if you don't really like it, you'll never come back to it. So we just really wanted to make sure we got it right on the first try. If you guys want more information about Overlook Bay, its release dates and everything like that, you guys can check out our Twitter. It is up on the screen right now. It is Wonderworks Studios. I have some crazy Adopt Me news. It's been circulating. It's been kind of going out throughout the internet and I have some steaming hot tea as the kids would call it. As we all know and may have heard by now, Adopt Me is banning trading. Yes, okay, this is real news, real, real news, but it's just not as scary as it sounds. I know, don't worry, do not fear guys, I have all the intel on this. So yesterday morning, a tweet by JG Plays went out, South Korea is enforcing virtual restrictions and curfews on gamers, which will now completely block virtual trading. I feel bad for all these players that have heavily invested their accounts. Roblox will have to enforce these restrictions based on location, sad news. As we can see, it says Roblox will have to enforce these restrictions. And of course, Adami falls underneath this. Now, I was really skeptical if this was brand new information because the article that's been circulating right here, South Korea banning virtual item trading, botting, and farming. There's perhaps no other country where gaming is more ingrained uh, into the culture as South Korea. Starcraft is on television and pro players are treated as the same relevance as sports legends is constant, as sports le legends. I cannot read today as sports legends causing the youth of our uh, the youth of the nation to be more avid gamers than anywhere else on earth so um I feel like I did definitely know this I know over there on TV you can watch people play like pro games esports over there which is really cool but this article is over eight years old this was posted June 15 2012 so this is a very 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 old article so it sounds like what's actually happening is that these these rules that are older, Adopt Me is just going to have to start enforcing, or as well as Roblox, because Roblox has gotten so, so big, and you know, at some point, they have to kind of obey the laws. I already know that it is difficult to get, oh, I'm, I'm sorry, hi, I just wanted to use your, your bed. She's gonna lock her house and kick me out, I already know it. So I already know that it's very hard to get a Roblox game in China. This is a fact as, um, you know, a part developer insider knowledge with Overlook Bay and Wonderwork Studio. I know that to get a game into China, you need to be able to like have no English words in it at all. It is very strict. So I know just like over in different countries, they just have different laws on restrictions of how much access you can have to certain internets. So because I was still really skeptical if this was actually going to be happening and if it wasn't just like, you know, some random news floating around, I took it upon myself to message Z. You guys know Z? She's like the social media manager of Adopt Me. I said to her, true or false? I'm about to make a video and I don't want to spread any false information. She said, it's true. We're actually working on an article to share about this right now. I'd love to share it with you once we are done, if you're willing to wait a couple hours. 
So I'm, I'm still waiting for this article. Six and a half hours later. Okay, guys, Z just linked me the article and it doesn't, I'm, I'm not even sure if it's like completely up, but it's a little developer talk, little divot here. Trading restrictions for Korean players in Adopt Me on Roblox. As a part of the Roblox lead program to comply with the laws in Korea which prohibit trading in games, trading in Adopt Me will be disabled for Korean players Wednesday, September 16th, 2020 for local time. I don't know if this is 4 a.m. or p.m., but guys, oh my goodness, trading is actually gonna go away in five days if you're in Korea. We want all of our core game features to be enjoyed by as many players around the world as possible. However, to comply with the laws in Korea, trades for Korean players in Adopt Me will be permanently disabled at the time listed above. This is a part of a Roblox-led program to comply with this law as such. All other Roblox games will be making these changes this following week. We will continue to support our community in Korea and we'll be working on features to allow better player experience as well as exciting updates. Additionally, players can still use the ice cream truck and hot dog lemonade stand to give away food and drinks, but they're automatically set to free. Oh my goodness, guys. So the lemonade and hot dog stands, like you can't make money from them anymore, it looks like either. That is crazy. When is Adopt Me removing trading for Korean players? Trading will be disabled in game for players whose accounts are registered in Korea on Wednesday, September 16th at four local time. Will I be able to trade free items? There will be no trading of any sort for Korean players after the times listed above. However, there will still be an option to gift items. So you can still gift. And unfortunately, it sounds like this is going to open up a whole, whole, whole new way of scamming in Korea and Adopt Me. Unfortunately, Adopt Me cannot do anything about this. It is the, the law. Like this is a real law of the country. So this is not going to be anything can be done about this. Will I lose the items I've already traded with other people? No, any items and pets traded prior to the time listed above will be honored. After this time, there will be no option to trade items in game. I don't live in Korea, but will you stop trading in my country? Some countries have particular laws in place that restrict what we are allowed to do. We will always work with Roblox in our community to give notice of any changes like this and to avoid them where possible, but it is not our intention to remove trading from any other regions. Was this article helpful? I, I did find it very helpful. Oh, login, I don't have an adopt me account on their website very helpful though guys oh my goodness so this actually sounds really serious so i think it's important to note that there will be no trading of free items and you will also not be getting bucks in return for ice cream truck purchases lemonade stand purchases or hot dog stand purchases also be 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 super cautious i would not engage in any trades via gifting it's illegal in korea it sounds like so do not break the law and also protect yourself from getting scammed. But at the end of the day, this is a Roblox decision and an adopt me is just following suit of what Roblox has to do to be in compliance with the Korean law. Moving on, we have some other really exciting news about the false leg, the false update, and everything according to such. But before we get into it, I wanted to show off my login day streak, guys. I hit 300 days. Today I'm at 301 days, and we are getting so close to the diamond egg. Like, we are getting over to the last row of it, and I am so excited. Of course, we're only like halfway there as of like a, for like the star rewards, but I am just so excited. It's going to be awesome. So guys, make sure you guys are subscribed and you hit the like button and you're hanging out with the Peachy Squad to be able to be included when, you know, I, I open up that egg and see which our very first diamond pet is gonna be. Okay, let's talk more news. So we all know Adopt Me released this dev update keynote uh, Fossil Egg and Adopt Me Team T. I watched it so that you don't have to and I dissected it. I mean, definitely watch it. Definitely subscribe and support Play Adopt Me. Get that video a like. I just know that, you know, if your attention span is anything like mine, it's just, it's a lot of information. So I got the cliff notes. So at 314 is where Josh Ling actually starts to talk about the dinosaur eggs or it's not a dinosaur egg, it's a fossil egg. And what he says is that it is going to be announced at least a week or so before it comes out, giving you a chance to buy some of the old Aussie eggs. Well, they're still like the newest egg in the game, but giving you a chance to stock up on all of your Aussie eggs, kangaroos and turtles. It's gonna be a mix of creatures and it's going to be the most pets that they have done in like a um, event slash sitting slash egg. Like it's gonna be their biggest tackle yet 
it is going to be filled with prehistoric animals and creatures, not just dinosaurs. He mentions that the team wanted something for everyone. They wanted things that were cute, creepy, scary, cool, serious, silly. Even though the silly duck is literally the bane of my existence and it, it makes me feel sick to even watch. <laughs> but they said that they wanted to make sure they had something for everyone that would be able to enjoy the dinosaur update because you know, dinosaurs aren't everyone's favorite animals, which I totally get. But guys, there's even more exciting information than that. Josh Lane goes on to say that there is going to be a brand new section of the map where this like this egg is going to be hosted i'm wondering if it's going to be extremely similar to the bumblebees the honeybees or just the legendary bees wait what, what, what like uh, they're not called bumblebees or honeybees or legendary bees i leave for uh, two weeks and then i come back and i'm confused yes i'm very confused so Guys, I think it's going to be really similar to how in this ice cream shop, we have the penguins, the regular penguins and the golden penguins. You come over, you pay and you get something. You know, you pay, you get, it works kind of like that. Now, I do not think that this is going to be a Robux update. So do not take that away from what I'm saying, but I do suppose that is going to be a designated situation just like this, where maybe you buy an item. I really just have to assume it's gonna be with bucks. I don't think it'll be with Robux. It just sounds like too big of an event to make it all completely Robux. There might be some Robux pets. Oh, look at that, guys. We got a legendary King Me. So keep that in mind. I am super excited for it. He also talked a little bit about the timeline. And in my opinion, my professional adopt me opinion, it doesn't sound like it's coming out very soon, but it does sound like it might be coming out either near the end of September or the beginning of October. In this video, around 10 minutes in, Josh Ling goes on to say that they kind of have maybe something a little bit planned for the Halloween update, but it is nothing set in stone. They don't really know what they're doing for it yet, but they do want to add some pets. So I know that they're not planning a massive Halloween update like they had last year, which, um, as you can see, I have a video right here next to, oh my gosh, guys, who remembers when my hair was pink and blue? I missed that literally so much. So you guys remember the Halloween update last year? You had to collect candy. There was a whole haunted house on the map. Like they had its own currency. I'm not completely sure that that is what's going to be happening this year, unfortunately, but it is still going to be a lot of really cool stuff. With that being said, I don't know when the fossil update is going to come out, but I, I'm skeptical that it's going to be sooner rather than later. But before that, they are going to be working on adding in some new soundtracks and, um, you know, sprucing up the Adopt Me theme song. Well, I don't know if they're gonna change the theme song, but they are definitely adding some more music, which I think is really important because I know that a really big portion of what I find to be nostalgic in games is the soundtrack. So I think going and adding in a heavier soundtrack will actually be really awesome because I think it'll help just, you know, get a catchy tune stuck in some people's head. Oh, look, guys, we have somebody in the PG squad here. Let's give them an item. Man, can we get a screenshot? Well, of course I could get a screenshot and I am recording, but I don't mind. Let's uh, give him just the first thing that's like not a legendary, just so I can pass it over and then get back to reporting the news. There's a bumblebee for you, sir. Thank you so much for watching the videos. I appreciate it. I've seen some, com some comments like, I ignore my viewers. Not true. Um, I just don't make videos completely addressing all of my viewers because that wouldn't be a fun video to watch. You guys know? Have you heard of the power of editing? Yes? No? Maybe? Okay, let's move on. Let's talk about Adopt Me trading. And this is not just something that I think is going to be tea. This is like real tea, guys. So as we can see here, Adopt Me posted a tweet, accept, decline. And obviously, I don't know who would um, trade away their unicorn for a sandwich. I would accept this trade. Actually, I wouldn't. That'd be super unfair and kind of mean. So why are there nine slots? Weird. And a lot of people commented on this like, oh my gosh, I'm so speculation. This means that nine slots are coming. Guys, 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 guys. See, all right, this is this is why I do this for you guys, because I love you guys so much. Yeah, and that update includes a lot of trading improvements, including we're, we're changing it from four slots to nine slots for trading, more slots and hopefully more room to trade for less rare items for rare items and stuff. So yeah, that, that's just one. It's coming. He said it himself. There's no speculation. It's happening. And he says it's it's not like next update or anything, but it is coming and they are working on it, which I think is really exciting. 
Guys, check this out. Future Megan here. I was totally right. I mean, how could I be wrong when they said themselves that nine trading squares are coming? So here we have our very, very first look at what nine trading squares is going to look like in Adopt Me. This is our official Twitter or in their official TikTok. So look at that, guys, the nine slots. And for some reason, there's a lock key right here. What does that mean? Like you lock the trade in so that, and oh my gosh, buy Cotney licensed? Moth's breath licensed? What does this mean? Is this like either like, like verified? You know what I mean? Like a verification system for YouTubers? What is this? What does this mean? Comment down below what you guys think. But this is what the nine trading squares is going to look like. That's going to be really cool, especially if you want to offer for like one frost dragon and you want to give like nine things. Like that will just be amazing. So guys, let me know down below what you guys think this actually licensed thing was. They declined the trade. <laughs> So guys, let me know what you guys think about some of these new update features. I'm really excited, but we're not finished yet. Whenever he goes back to talking, goes back, I'm jumping around everywhere. At 10 minutes and whenever he's talking about um, Halloween pets, people, they left some Halloween pets below and I wanted to share them. Legendary Shadow and Ghost Unicorn. That would be so, so cool, guys. Imagine a ghost unicorn. I would die. They also have over here egg name, icy egg, legendary yeti, snow owl, snow tiger, caribou, snow geese, arctic hares, fox. Like, there's so many cool ideas. Oh, and here's something that I thought was also really cool. A skeleton unicorn or a skeleton dragon. I mean, the shadow dragon and the frost dragon are also very skeleton Esque, but imagine if it was literally just the skeleton so guys let me know what you guys think if you guys are super excited about the new updates to come i know the adopt me team is working very very hard themselves on creating some really awesome content for you guys they have to do a lot behind the scenes it's uh, it's not always going to be releasing items that the player can see. It's going to be going back and forth between creating, you know, a really great, fun game. Like, for example, my game has started to lag a little bit. And I think it's because they've been adding so much stuff. So behind the scenes, they're going and they're refining all that for a smoother gameplay. So, you know, guys, they're always constantly working on the game. They don't pay all these people to do nothing. Just because you might not see it happening doesn't mean it's not. So always keep that in mind and always, always, always always be kind you guys be just really kind all right <laughs> thank you guys so much for watching this video i really appreciate it i have a brand new real life video over on my real life channel at megan it is linked down below where i lived like charlie d'amelio for an entire day please 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 go over and check it out i would appreciate it so much guys thank you so much for watching do not forget to hashtag stay pt stay kind use code megan please when purchasing robux and i will talk to you guys next time Okay, love you, bye.